Hi, this is Rick Hohn with the video of the week. Our believing in Jesus and his resurrection no longer causes us to fear, but to have the hope that is too glorious for us to imagine. Please let me tell about this story that will help put the thrill of seeing Jesus risen, perhaps in a fresh way. When I was living in a nursing home about 30 years ago, there was a group of us teenagers and young adults very closely knit together, like on the TV program, MASH. We were like a family, separate from the elderly. We all loved one teenager, Mark Smith, who had an advanced case of muscular dystrophy, a progressive paralyzing disease. He often tried not to show it, but he was very gentle. He was my favorite roommate and would not hesitate, even at 15 or 16 years of age, to be my mouth to tell the nurses what I needed when they could not figure out what I was saying. Whenever Mark would catch a simple cold, the nursing home always sent him to an acute hospital where we were aware that he might not come back, but could die from the inability to simply cough. He was also keenly aware of his short lifespan. One time when Mark was hospitalized because of pneumonia, the hospital called the nursing home to say that Mark had died. Word got out and both patients and staff of the care facility moaned and grieved at our dear friend not being with us anymore. His girlfriend especially took it hard as she sobbed uncontrollably like when Mary Magdalene saw Jesus' body was no longer in the tomb. A half day later, the nursing home received a second call from the hospital admitting to a horrible mistake because they had the wrong Mark Smith. There was two people with the same name, so the hospital confused them. Our Mark Smith was alive and well. But, like Mary, Peter, and the disciple that Jesus loved the most, we were slow at receiving the good news that our friend, Mark, was still alive. We had been saddened by a bad report, and it was hard to get out of our own despair, and we hung our heads down in despair, like Mary and the disciples. Fortunately, the hospital was a block away, and a bunch of us wheeled in our chairs to see that Mark was really alive and was feeling so well that he was going to come home soon. As you can imagine, everybody was ecstatic. We were beside ourselves as we saw our friend alive. So, Jesus is alive, and I pray that this story makes it a true reality that Jesus is alive. Oh, yeah.